So previously we looked at a parabola in quadratic form. And in quadratic form, uh, it was f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where we said a does not equal to 0. We also looked at some of the things that the a, b, and c cause to this parabola. We said if our original parabola is y equals x squared, and if a is positive, it opens up, and if a is bigger than 1, it's going to be sort of narrower than the original one. If a is positive and less than 1, like a equals a half, then it's going to be wider. So that's how a is going to affect the parabola. Bigger than 1, narrower, less than 1, wider. And we said if there's a negative leading coefficient, that's going to flip the parabola down and make it open down. Then we said if you're adding a positive number or subtracting a positive number, therefore having something like negative 2, um, the positive moves the parabola, shifts it up to units, and the negative shifts it down to units as such. And we also said if, if you're adding or subtracting a number inside the parentheses quantity squared, then that's going to be counterintuitive and it's going to shift it left or right. So x minus 2 quantity squared will actually be right 2 units, and x plus 2 quantity squared will actually be left 2 units. So these are, this is the overview of what we've looked at so far a parabola in quadratic form, and then some of the special cases. Now if we combine these ideas together, we're going to get the vertex form of a parabola. And the vertex form of a parabola has a, which we know how it affects it, quantity x minus h, we're calling this number plus or minus c h, quantity squared plus k, where the h and k are the vertex of the parabola. So recall before we would do negative b over 2a in this version to pull out the x-coordinate of um, the vertex for the parabola. But now, if we have this friendly version where it's already in vertex form, then the parabola vertex can be pulled out very quickly, h and k. k has the same sign as it was here, and h will be the opposite sign of what was in there. Here's what I mean. Let's do some examples. Give the vertex of the parabola. So this parabola we notice right off the bat is in vertex form. There's an a, x minus h quantity squared plus k. Instead of multiplying it out, we can notice that the negative one, then the 3, actually play a role and give us the vertex right off the bat. So I pull out the opposite of what's inside. There's a negative one inside that actually ends up being a positive 1, comma, and pull out the k as is. And voila, we're done. That's the vertex of this parabola because it was already given to us in vertex form. Part B, we're supposed to give the vertex, but notice it's not in this factored looking version, which is the vertex form. It's actually in the quadratic form, which looks like this. So we're going to go back and resort to what we did before. Label our A, B, and C, and we know the vertex x coordinate will be negative B over 2A. So that'll be negative 8, because b is 8, over 2, a is 2. That's going to be negative 8 over 4, which is going to give me a negative 2. That's the x-coordinate. And for the y-coordinate, i got to plug this guy back in there. So put in the negative 2 for x. We'll put it in for all the x values inside of the function g, and see what it spits out for the y-coordinate. And once we do the math, it looks like it spits out a negative 1, so the vertex in this case for part b is x coordinate negative 2, y coordinate that was spit out is negative 11. So in vertex form, much quicker, pull out the h and k. In quadratic form, I got to go through the negative b over 2a business. Let's show them some more examples. It says, uh, give a quick sketch of the parabola. So all we're doing is a quick sketch. We don't have to go through finding exact points. So notice this is just the x squared parabola with an added 5, which really means just shift 5 units up. And since I'm doing a quick sketch, all i got to worry about is, okay, it's just my basic parabola shifted up 5 units. So I used to have a basic parabola going through the origin. Since the leading coefficient is a positive 1, it opens up. But I'm going to take that vertex 0, 0 and shift it up 5 units. Up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And a quick sketch of this parabola would be as such with vertex 0, 5 it looks like. So that's a quick sketch of the parabola because I automatically recognize from my notes that plus 5 shoots up the parabola 5 units up.
This one kind of looks like this guy, but it's got some other things going on. It's a minus one, so I know this is going to shift it one down, ultimately, whatever's happening. And there's also a negative outside that's going to make it open down instead of opening up like this guy. And notice this is a 2, so a 2 makes the parabola actually sort of narrower, if you remember from your notes. It takes all the y values and doubles them, so it's actually going to make it sort of narrower or taller, which for a sketch will be hard to recognize, so I'll just do, I'll give an indication that it's actually narrower, but it's going to be hard to tell. I redid my axes because it's opening down. Um, so a basic parabola y equals x squared would, simple one would look like that. That's my basic one, I'm putting it dotted. But I do know that actually, I already have it opened down, I do know that it's going to be narrower, and it's going to be shifted down one. So I'm going to make the vertex go down one, and I'm also going to make it look like this guy is narrower. And then something basic like this, which had a leading coefficient one. So the leading coefficient of 2 makes it narrower, the negative makes it open down, of course, and the negative or the negative makes it open down, but the negative one on the outside makes the origin that used to be zero zero become zero negative one. So the vertex here is zero comma negative one. Let's look at a couple more. Well, right off the bat, we know that the plus three is on the inside quantity square, so this is going to be counterintuitive. Move left three. Um, this is the H, sort of, and this is the K spot, so there is nothing there, which means you could think of it as a plus zero for the K value. So it's just a basic parabola, which would have been Y equals X squared, your basic one, but now it's shifted left three. One, two, three to the left. So here's a sketch of our parabola, X plus three quantity squared. The vertex looks like it is at negative three, comma zero. Again, all we're doing is a quick sketch. For this guy, uh, it's very similar to C, except it's a minus one, so the parabola has shifted one to the right. And since the leading coefficient is a positive one in both cases, we know it's opening up. It's not a two or a three, so it's not wider or narrower or any of those things we got to worry about. So, quick sketch. I would have normally had a basic parabola opening up through the origin, but the one unit to the right vertex moved up. So now the vertex is at 1, comma, 0. Okay, let's do a couple of more that are a little bit more involved. So this part E looks kind of like part C, but then we've got the plus 2 involved as well. So if you're thinking of your vertex form and recognizing it, this is what's going on, and we could quickly pull off the vertex from here and here and do our quick sketch without much worry. So remember the vertex is the opposite of this, which is negative 3, and this for my k value, 2. The leading coefficient here is a positive 1, so it opens up, and that's all I pretty much need to sketch my parabola. The vertex is at negative 3, up to, and the, the parabola opens up, it's a basic parabola, not narrower or wider, and there's my sketch. Again, once I have my vertex, sketching it is not a big deal. Let's see what business is going on here. So um, it's kind of like this guy, but it's got the negative 3 involved. So the vertex form, the HK, gives me my vertex pulled out. The one thing I got to worry about is what does the negative do that's going to make it open down. And then the 3 actually makes it narrower than your basic y equals x squared parabola. This was just a quick sketch. It looks like y equals x squared wideness, quote unquote. This one is actually kind of going to be narrower. So the vertex we're going to pull out from here opposite of negative 1 is 1 pull out the last number, which is 5, and we know it's going to open down, and it's going to be sort of narrow. So we're going to go to 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's our vertex, 1, 5, and it's going to open down, 
And instead of it being sort of a basic y equals x squared or negative x squared parabola, that 3 makes it sort of narrower. So I'm just going to do a kind of skinny looking parabola. So having it in vertex form, notice, makes the sketch much quicker because the very most important feature of a parabola is the vertex. And you can pull that out right off the bat. In this example, it says give the equation of the parabola in vertex form for part A and then in quadratic form in part B. So we just want to know what the difference is between the two and assume the A, the leading coefficient, is either positive or negative 1. Which we can tell right off the bat, if those are my only two choices, A must be negative 1 since the sky opens down. So I don't have to worry about positive 1. Now let's go review what vertex form versus quadratic form is. So in vertex form, I got the y equals ax minus h squared plus k business going on, or f of x if you want to call it f of x, doesn't matter, where h and k are the vertex that I would pull out, but now I'm going to work backwards and put them back in. So a we already determined is negative 1 because the guy opens down. And they told us to assume it's plus or minus 1. x minus squared plus whatever k is. So I have to go pull out my vertex from the graph. Let's label the vertex there. Looks like it's negative 1, 2. So i got to shove these back in here for my h and k business. That's my h and that's my k. So my h is negative 1. Put that back in there. And my k is a 2, put that back in there. Double negatives make a positive, so that's going to be x plus 1 squared plus 2. And this is the vertex form of my parabola. Part b, I need to give it in quadratic form. And remember, quadratic form is ax squared plus bx plus c, when everything is sort of multiplied out and meshed together. Well, if I have the vertex form, it shouldn't be bad to get the quadratic form. This guy multiplied out and simplified gives me the quadratic form. So let's go ahead and do that. So I rewrote this guy as quantity squared having 2x plus 1, x plus 1s. i got to focus here, multiply those guys first. x squared plus x plus another x plus 1 when I foil it out and multiply it out. That's going to give me x squared plus 2x plus 1. And I'm not involving this guy yet because this negative 1 is waiting outside to be distributed before I do anything else. So negative x squared minus 2x minus 1 when I distribute it in. Lastly, bring down the plus 2. Clean everybody up and we get negative x squared minus 2x plus 1 for the final parabola in quadratic form. So there's part b, the parabola in quadratic form. And this plus 1 reinforces things and makes me feel better. Because remember, the last constant c is always the y-intercept of your parabola, and definitely this parabola has a y-intercept of 1. So this looks good. Okay, in this example, it says graph the parabola showing intercepts and vertex. So I can't just sketch it. i got to go graph it. Here are the steps I'm going to go through. The y-intercept is the quickest. Remember, it's the last number. When x is 0, you get y equals negative 3 here. x0 wipes these guys out. So that's the first thing I pick. Then I like finding x-intercepts. That means let y equal to 0, or f of x equal to 0, and solve that guy. I'm going to solve it by factoring, and I got two x-intercepts. Negative 1, 0, and 3, 0, because the y value is 0, and the x values were popped out as those two. Next guy I'm going to find is going to be the vertex by doing the negative b over 2a business, because this is in quadratic form. b is negative 2 here, so the opposite of negative 2 over 2 times a, which is 1, is going to give me 1. I put it back in here to find the y value. So x coordinate 1, y coordinate negative 4. These three things are probably good enough for me to get a sketch of this parabola. Let's go plot these things. So 0, negative 3 is my y-intercept. 3, 0 is one x-intercept. Negative 1, 0 is the other x-intercept, and my vertex is 1, negative 4. Connect them, and there is your parabola. Something I want to point out is the parabola decreases to the vertex and then increases back up. And we write that as 
left to right decreases from negative infinity to the x coordinate 1, increases 